Hey guys, welcome back to SourceFed. I'm Trisha Hirschberger, and if you're terrified, or fascinated, your call, of the idea of a mechanical cheetah sprinting across your school lawn, then you can thank Subaru for helping us get this story to you. MIT's cheetah bot has been seen before. I mean, we even covered it on SourceFed. But now this ugly little guy is chock full of new tech guts that use no internal combustion engine or hydraulics. You're freaking out, I know. Now it's all thanks to a new algorithm that uses the force from the custom torquerific electrical motor to increase the speed of his gait and height of the leaps. I mean, I can't help but think of this other famous cheetah. Set. Now you're playing with body power. Who also ran and leapt like a champ, cause he was. And comparing Cheetah Bot to a track and field star isn't that far off. MIT Associate Professor of Mechanical Engineering Sang Bae Kim said, Many sprinters, like Usain Bolt, don't cycle their legs really fast. They actually increase their stride length by pushing downward harder and increasing their ground force so they can fly more while keeping the same frequency. Using force to propel the mechanical beast has given it better balance too. So the Cheetah Bot can now run fast and free. Run fast like a cheetah. Show that again. And since electrical motors are also very quiet, think of certain hybrid cars before that gas engine kicks in, Cheetahbot is fully capable of creeping up behind you and pouncing on you without you even never knowing. Nope, you'll never know. I made up the pouncing part. But just because it isn't programmed to do that doesn't mean that it couldn't happen. Speaking of cool new motors, resident Discovery Digital Network's tech guru Patrick Norton ran the all new 2015 Subaru Legacy through his own concoction of extreme challenges. If you want to check out those vids, you can do that by clicking this and annotation or heading over to SubaruLegacyChallenge.com. I'm Trisha Hirschberger and uh, show that one more time please. Thank you.